Hello friends, welcome to the channel Basics of Biology, a step to learning biology. Today we are going to discuss about some common equipments of biology lab. So friends, those of you who have recently started practical classes in lab, you will surely interested to know about the name and functions of some common lab instruments. So let's start the discussions. Lab coat and gloves. First of all, it's mandatory to wear your lab coat and gloves, so don't forget to wear before entering the lab. Now, the question will arise in your mind, why? Because it provides protection to your skin and personal clothing from chemical, chemical burns, heat, etc. And it also provides protections from direct contact with many infectious agents and microorganisms. Next, biology box. Many of you have used biology box since 9th standard or even earlier. Let's see what is it and what it contains. So biology box is designed for biology students and it contains many equipments which are made of stainless steel and it contains magnifying glass, knife, scissors, plates, needles, glass light, cover slip and many other instruments. These are test tubes made of glass and it used to handle liquid solutions like chemicals, microbial culture for different types of experiment. Next, conical flask. These are also made of glass. Generally, it's used to heating and mixing the chemical solutions and it's also used as a short term storage of chemical or microbial culture solutions. Now, nephiloculture flask or nephilometric flask. These are similar to conical flask but it have a side arm which is look like test tube and it used to measure turbidity of a liquid or microbial culture by using spectrophotometer. These are measuring cylinder. It's a cylindrical glass pot. Generally it's used to measure the volume of liquid solutions, chemicals or water in lab for further experiments. Petridis or petri plate is a transparent leaded dish. It's used to culture different types of cells and microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. Next, inoculating loop. It's a simple tool used by microbiologists. It's used to pick up and transfer small sample of microorganisms called inoculum from a microbial culture. These are filter paper. It semi permeable paper barrier, which is used to separate fine solid particles from liquid. Next, glass slide and cover slips. These are thin and flat piece of glass. Glass slides are used to examine blood, cells and microorganisms under microscopes. And cover slips placed over the specimen on glass slide cause it protects the microscope and prevent the slide from drying out. Next, needle. It's basically used to prick the finger to collect blood sample for further experiment of blood. This is pipette. A pipette is a measuring tool commonly used in chemistry and biology lab. It's used to measure the small volume of liquid and also used for pipetting or transferring the liquid sample. Next, micro dips. It's used with pipette to speed processing and reduce cross contaminations. A tip used only once for reduce the chance of contaminations. Now, most important equipment of a biology lab is microscope. It's used to magnify very small objects like cells and microorganisms which are not visible in naked eye. Next, Bunsen burner. It's named after German chemist Robert Bunsen. It produces open gas flame and used for heating, sterilization and combustion. Now, spirit lamp or alcohol burner. This is a piece of lab equipment which is used to produce an open flame. Generally, it's preferred over the Bunsen burner cause it more safe than Bunsen burner for producing the flame in limited height. 
Next, weighing machine. A weighing machine is a lab tool which is used to measure weight or mass of an object. This is spatula, a small spoon-like tool made up of stainless steel. Generally, it's used to mixing, lifting and handling the granular material, powders or other solids. And it's also used to mixing and stirring liquids. Now, bullet with bullet stand and conical flask. It's used to titration of a particular substances is in a liquid to determine the concentration. So guys, these are some commonly used lab instruments. Hope this discussion will help you. Thank you for watching the video. Please keep supporting my channel because your support is my encouragement to do more tutorial video for you. If you like today's video, please like, share and subscribe the channel Basics of Biology.